And uh, once again, tonight we are going to discuss general algebraic skills. And in this one, I'm going to focus further uh, on um, uh, expanding uh, and simplifying expressions as well as uh, factorizing. So let's start with the first one that we have here in hands. So um, it says we have two brackets multiplied by each other, a to the power of half minus b to the power of half times a to the power of half plus b to the power of half. So we're going to take the first term in the first bracket and we're going to multiply it by each term in the second bracket. So a to the power of half times a to the power of half. When we multiply a to the power of half, times a to the power of half. We keep the base, which is a, and we add the power, so it will become one, because half times half, a fraction adding, adding to it, another fraction, denominator is the same, so we're going to just keep the denominator as is and add the numerators. So the answer here will be a. Then a to the power of half times b to the power of half, it will be basically plus a to the power of half, b to the power of half. And then we're going to take the second term and multiply it by each term in the second bracket. So minus b to the power of half times a to the power of half, it will be minus a to the power of half, b to the power of half, then minus b to the power of half times positive b, it will be minus b. Now the middle terms are going to cancel each other, so the final answer will be a minus b. Second question, 16 minus 4. So like I explained before, when we say, when we see 3x minus 2 to the power of 2, it means 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2. I prefer that you do it aside on its own. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4. 9x squared minus 6x and minus 6x, it will become minus 12x and plus 4. So the 16 is going to remain the same. Minus the 4 is going to, be, to remain the same. And here that 3x minus 2 to the power of 2 can be replaced with the expression 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. Equal under the equal. 16 will remain the same. Now you're going to, to expand the minus 4 into the bracket, into each term. You're going to multiply the negative term by each term inside the bracket. So minus 9 times 9 minus 36 x squared minus 4 times minus 12 x it will be plus 48 x and then minus 4 times plus 4 it will be minus 16 equals under the equal now the 16 and minus 16 are going to cancel each other so minus 36 x squared plus 48x is the final answer. And here we're going to expand once again. So half times each term inside the bracket and minus 3 times each term inside the bracket. So half times 6x, the answer will be 3x. So 3x. And then half times negative 2, the answer will be negative 1. So minus 1. Then minus 3 times x, it will be minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 1, it will be plus 3. And then we're going to simplify. 
3x and negative 3x are going to cancel each other. Minus 1 plus 3, the answer will be 2. And this is the answer for this simplification of this expression. Now they want us to change the subject of the formula. The subject of the formula here is y, and they want us to make x. So first thing, we need to get rid of the square root. How do we get rid of the square root? By taking each side to the power of 2. So we're going to say y to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of 2, the square root of x squared plus 1. So the power of 2 will cancel the square root. So here it will be y squared. So the power of 2 will cancel the square root and what's underneath the square root will remain exactly the same. So y squared is equal to x squared plus 1. Let me write it here y squared is equal to x squared plus 1. We're going to transfer the 1 to the other side of the equal. So y squared is originally there. We'll keep it as is. Plus 1 will become minus 1 is equal to x squared. We are looking for x squared only. So to get rid of the squared, we're going to put everything underneath the square root. So x is equal to square root of y squared minus 1, and this is the final answer. So here, to change the subject to x, x is going to be equal to y squared minus 1. Again, oops, sorry about that. We have here y is equal to x plus 2, so y over 1 is equal to y equals to x plus 2 as the numerator on the right over x minus 4 as the denominator on the right. Let's cross multiply. So, the denominator on the left times the numerator on the right, and the numerator on the left times the denominator on the right. So let's start with 1 times x plus 2. Anything times 1, it will remain as s. And then y times x minus 4. Place the x minus 4 inside a bracket because it is an expression. And now you're going to say, you're going to expand. So x plus 2 is going to stay the same. y times x, it will be xy or yx. And y times 4, it's minus 4y. Now we're going to send the x to one side. And we're going to take the 2 to the other side. So x plus 2 is equal to xy minus 4y. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I didn't notice. We're going to make x the subject. No, 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 that's right. Okay. So, So, we're going to send the xy to the other side. So, we're going to keep the x and we're going to bring xy. So, it will be minus xy equals to what's, what's originally there is minus 4y. And we're going to send the plus 2. So, it will become minus 2. Now, we must factorize the x. So, x is going to come out. Open the bracket, x times 1, it will bring us back the x minus y because x times y is xy equals 2. Now, we're going to get the 2 out and it will be minus 2y 
plus 1. Let me just keep it a little bit smaller. We don't need to factorize actually this side, so we can just keep it as minus 4y minus 2. So x is our subject. We need to divide each term. So divide all or each side actually. Divide all by 1 minus y. So x is equal to fraction minus 4y minus 2 over 1 minus y. And this is how we change the subject of the formula. OK, uh, now we have AP is equal to PX plus C. We need to write P in terms of A, C and X, so it, which means we need to make P the subject. So it's AP is equal to PX plus C. So obviously here, P is on different sides of the uh, formula, so we're going to send this to the other side of the formula. So AP is originally there. PX, it will be minus PX is equal to C. Remember, we need to make P the subject. So we have the P distributed in two terms on this side. So we're going to factorize P. We're going to get P as a common factor. Open a bracket. A, because A times P will give us AP, minus X, because P times X will give us PX is equal to C. And then we're going to divide all by the expression A minus X. And so P will be equal to fraction line C over A minus X. And that's how we make P the subject in this case. Here we're going to do substitution. So Y is equal to, if P is equal to negative 5, we always say when it is P squared, we place it inside a bracket to the power of 2. So it's minus 5 plus QR, which means Q, which is 3 times r, which is negative 7. And this one will be 25 minus 21, and y will come down to 4. Write p in terms, so they want us to make p the subject. So y is equal to p squared plus qr. They want us to make P the subject, so we're going to send the QR to the other side of the formula. So it will be Y minus QR is equal to P squared. But we are looking for P. So P is equal to square root. That's how we get rid of the power of 2. Square root of Y minus QR. And this is how we change the subject into P. Here we have W is equal to 1 over square root of LC. So if we want to substitute here, they give us L as 8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 and C as, so we're going to say W is equal to fraction line 1 square root L is 8 times 10 to the power of negative 3. LC, it means times. So times C is 2 times 10 to the power of negative 9, and they're all under the square root. And obviously, you're going to use a calculator here. So it will be fraction. 1 is up there, and then square root of 8 times of 8 times uh, 10 to the power of negative 3 
times two times ten to the power of negative nine and then we put equal so it will be two five zero one two three but they want us to write it as or in standard form so if we change this into two twenty five times ten to the power of four and this one should be uh, greater than uh, one yet less than ten so it will be two point five and to get it back to 25 times 10, times 10 to the power of four, so it will be 2.5 times 10 to the power of five. And if you check 2.5 times 10 to the power of five, you will get back the 250,000 again, okay? Now they want us to make C the subject, so the formula is W equals to 1 over square root of L times C. This one is over 1. You cross multiply. So 1 times 1, it will be 1 equals to W times L C. We can ah, before we do this, there is another way. There is another way that is, uh, I think, easier. I think. Okay. Uh, it's W is equal to 1 over square root of L C. To get rid of the square root, we're going to take each side to the power of 2. So it will be W squared over, if you say 1 over square root of LC times 1 over square root of LC, it will be 1 over LC, right? So 1 over LC. Now I think it's uh, easier for you to deal with it. Now you can say that this one is over one, so we can cross multiply accordingly. One times one is one is equal to W squared times L times C. We're making C the subject, so divide all by W squared L. So C is equal to 1 over W squared L. This is the final answer. So just let me here explain it further. So when we apply the opposite operation, we, we're making C the subject. So we're going to divide this side by W squared L and this side by W squared L. So that W squared L and W squared L is cancelled here. So C is left on its own and C is equal to 1 over W squared L. Okay. Let's go to this. Sorry about this, guys. Let's go to this. So here they're telling you that 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 3. Okay, let's rewrite 1 over 3. Isn't it equal to 3 to the power of negative 1? Accordingly, 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of negative 1. Same base, so the power here, so x is equal to negative 1. Okay, now... 5 to the power of y is equal to k. And they're asking us to write 5 to the power of y plus 1 in terms of k. So 5 
to the power of y plus 1. Can we rewrite it as 5 to the power of y times 5 to the power of 1? When we are multiplying two numbers with the exact same base, we keep the base and we add the powers. Okay, equals to, can we replace 5y? I will write it here. Remember, 5 to the power of y is equal to k. So can I replace here the 5 to the power of y with k times 5 to the power of 1? And isn't 5 to the power of 1 times k or k times 5 to the power of 1 is equal to 5k? So we read, we wrote, so we, this means that 5 to the power of y plus 1 is equal to 5k. See, so we wrote this expression in terms of k. Let's do the factorizing here. And 4p squared minus q minus 6p q squared. Uh, 4 is a uh, 4p squared q is not a uh, square expression and 6pq squared is not a square expression so we need to get the common factor which is 2pq open a bracket so it's times 2p because 2pq times 2p will get us back 4p squared q minus 3q because 2pq times negative 3q will give us negative 6pq squared. So we always check by expanding. Okay, here we need to get the common factor, which is 7 bracket h plus k. So what's common between the two terms, this term and this term, is 7 and the expression h plus k. Then open the bracket. So to get back 7 times h plus k squared, we only need here h plus k minus 3, and we're done. 4p squared minus 9. So this is a squared expression, and this is a squared number. So we're going to open two brackets, and there is the minus sign in between the first one will take the addition and the second one will take the subtraction 4p squared is basically 2p times 2p and 9 is 3 times 3 and you can always check by expanding we have one two three four terms take the first two and then then take the second two 2kp minus km the common factor is key and 2p is the first term inside the bracket. k times 2p will get us 2kp. Uh, then k times negative m will get us back negative km plus, plus 6p minus 3m. 3 is going to come out. And to get back the 6p, it's 3p. Sorry, 2p. So, it's 2p because 3 times 2p is going to give me 6p minus m because 3 times negative m, it will get me back the minus 3m. Now, the second step of the factorizing, 2p minus m is a common expression. So, 2p minus m will come out. Then we're going to open a bracket. k is left plus 3, and we can always check by, fact, by expanding. Here, it is written as ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're going to open two brackets. 
since the C is carrying the negative sign, so the first bracket will be positive and the second will be negative. The first term, X squared, so it's X times X. And 132, it's 11 times 12. It's 11 times 12, and the 12 will be here, and the 11 is here, because if we check on the middle term, this one is negative 12x, and this one is 12x. So 12x plus negative 12x, the answer will be negative x, which is the middle term. And that's why we chose 11 times 12. Um, and uh, that's it. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this video. Please watch it a couple of times if you do not understand. Uh, and um, this is uh, about factorizing, expanding, changing the subject of the formula, and collecting like terms. Thank you once again, and have a good night.